What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your post notifications. Today, we're doing a high taper on some braids, but what we're going to do first is uh, knock off uh, all the bulk around the head. We're going to use our one guard lever open to completely bald out this area underneath the braids. As you can see here with my left hand, I'm stretching out that scalp to make sure that we don't cut any unnecessary hair that doesn't need to be off. Now you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the details like this because if you cut anywhere above uh, the area that's already cut, you're going to be cutting out chunks of hair from the braids and it's going to make it extremely lopsided and you don't want that for your client. So right here we have the one guard on our lever closed and we're just doing some hairline prep going with the grain to make sure that we don't have a bunch of flyaways when we do the edge up towards the end of this video. Now the next thing we're going to do is create our bald line using the TPLB Troll Trimmer. This is the Gunmetal Gray Edition. You can find this on Amazon.com. Uh, but right here we're creating a sad face shape on the back and that's to create darker lines when we do the edge up on the sides. So right here I'm making a arc shaped uh, you know, bald line for the side tapers as well. And I just wanted to utilize the trimmer to the, you know, the most I could while I had it in my hand at the moment. Uh, this is just going to help you with time management, save you some time in the total uh, scheme of the haircut. After that, we're going to go ahead and bald out underneath everything we did with the trimmer using our TPLV skull shaver. This is a double foil shaver. And then once we do that, we're going to create our first panel of hair to fade into. We're going to take our T-Pob Troll J Blends Edition Clipper and we're going to create a uh, panel of hair roughly about an inch wide and uh, we're going to have that blade all the way open, no guard. And then once we create our panel of hair to fade into, we're going to close that lever all the way, open the lever slightly, fade up, open the lever slightly, fade up until we have this area completely blended, completely even, completely cut, uh, nice and smooth. As you can see here, I'm just gradually cutting this and just detailing my way, working my way nice and slow to make sure that we get as even as a cut as possible. Um, as I said, you know, I make that sad face shape so that way we could have darker lines on the side by the ears. Uh, he does want an edge up right there. So by creating that sad face shape, you leave more hair for you to edge up when you fade because you're balding out slightly a little bit more towards the center uh, than the side. So that just helps out with that effect without having to use enhancements. So after we do all that, we're going to go to the one guard lever close and we're going to go ahead and create another panel of hair to fade into after we uh, finish up with this lever play with the no guard. Now, as you can see here, everything is coming together uh, nice and copacetic. You know, I, I like to make sure that I detail my haircuts to the, the best of my ability. This is a walking billboard. Once you uh, let your client up out the chair, uh, he's going to be seen by a bunch of people. You know, my client specifically here, he works at a truck stop. So I know for a fact that tons and tons of people see him, tons of people see his haircut. You know, he has a bunch of coworkers. He sees people in and out that store every day. So I want to make sure that when people see his haircut, they know like, they, they ask him, you know, where'd you get it at? He can tell them, you know, with, with confidence, you know, I go to this place. I go to Jay Blends. I go, you know, to go see that man to get blessed every time. So now we have that one guard lever closed. We're going to create another panel of hair to fade into. And uh, you got to remember that we have a, a one guard lever open all the way up towards the braid. So essentially, we're just going to use that one guard to uh, fade into the rest of the bolt. But before we do that, we have the half guard on there. We created that panel of hair with the one guard lever closed. So we're gonna go drop down to the half guard lever closed, open the lever slightly fade up, open the lever slightly fade up until we have this area completely knocked out. Now you can see here, my client does have some indentions, does have some areas that we will have to work around that we will have to work with to make sure that we get an even blend all together. Now this is just something that's gonna happen on a day-to-day -day basis while you're in the shop. You're gonna have clients that come in with indentions, you're gonna have clients that come in with balding spots, we're gonna have clients that come in with just, you know, things that are gonna deter us from trying to give uh, our clients the best possible cut. But these are stumbling blocks, these are not, you know, I, I'm sorry, these are stepping stones, not stumbling blocks, these are things that we can hurdle over, these are things that we can, uh, you know, gain experience and try to navigate around and just give our clients the best possible service as possible so we got the half guard on there lever playing until we get that area completely knocked out after we get the half guard uh lever play situated and we get all that cutting done with the half guard we will get to the one guard and we're going to lever play with the one guard and fade into the bulk of the hair that we already debulked 
and so this is just a process this is just you know a step-by-step -step, um stacking guards and when you follow a process when you follow a a uh, you know a regimen you're gonna be able to knock out any haircut in a timely fashion you're gonna be able to knock out any type of hair texture because you already have a system in place so you can see here, I'm, I'm lever playing. I'm making sure that you know I take care of any de de detail in your bald spots, I'm dark spots, detail in the areas that I see where it's not completely blended the way I want it to be blended, and I'm just making sure I take my time and give my client the best possible service. So you can see here, it is coming out nice and blurry. It is coming together. We got that one guard in there. We're gonna lever play with that into the bulk of the hair uh, that we have along the sides. Now I'm just uh, making sure that we do you know the same thing that we do on the back taper we're going to do on the same thing on the side tapers as well we're going to make sure that we try to maintain the same process all the way around that way we have a very symmetrical look to the haircut um you know a lot of times uh you have clients that will complain about other barbers you know every every client will complain that either the barber took too you know long or the barber got the men out the chair too fast so that is something that you want to pay mind to when you have new clients in your chair is just you know listen to them and try to navigate what they're saying and uh, find a way to you know get them in and out the chair at a time that you know is not too long or not too short depending on you know what the client is saying a lot of times you know you want to be cautious of uh, a lot of these complaints because these complaints can help you in the long run. You know, you can listen to a lot of the things they say. Um, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, of course. You know, eat the fish and spit out the bones. You know, a lot of times people complain just to complain. But, you know, sometimes a lot of these complaints come from a place that will help you grow, that will help you build your business, that will help you to make sure that, you know, you're not making these mistakes that other barbers are making around your city or, you know, uh, you know, around the area that you will live at, you know. So just pay attention to your clients, make sure you're listening and make sure that you uh, take all things into consideration. You know, don't take everything to heart. Don't don't, you know, take everything they say for complete fact, because a lot of times people do just say stuff to say stuff. But, you know, take what knowledge you can adapt it to your process, adapt it to how you build your business and, and you know, just go with that. But right here, we're stretching out the skin because in the video, it looked like there was a lot of dark spots that, you know, weren't blended. But once I stretched out the skin, you could see that it is nice and blended it is nice and even. And that was the look we're going for. Now we're going to get to the side taper here, the temple tape. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did on the back on the side here. So we have that lever open. We're going to create a panel of hair to fade into. We're going to close the lever all the way and begin to open and close that lever, which essentially is lever playing to make sure that we get this area nice and blended. Now, with this area of the haircut, it is a smaller area to blend. It is a smaller area to, to fade out. So you want to make sure that you are taking your time. Use the, the corners of your blade to knock this area out. I would say use like the first three to four teeth of your blade to make sure that you get it blended because it just it's it's a small area it's very compact so that's just something you want to pay attention to if you use the whole blade you might take off more than you need to so right now we're just blending out that sideburn beard area of the haircut and uh taking care of this while we're already on this side that's the biggest thing with these haircuts is like you want to make sure that you're utilizing your time to your advantage you don't want to be uh doing unnecessary steps that will take too much time off your haircut so I'm sorry, adding too much time to your haircut by taking by doing unnecessary steps. So since I'm already on the side, I'm I'm gonna try to blend the area since I'm already there. As opposed to I've seen some people will do a whole haircut and then they'll go to the beard. But since I'm already on this side, I'm gonna attack that side with the same tool that I'm using already to make sure we get the area knocked out because that'll help me take off time at the end of the haircut uh, to get this client out in an expedited time frame but also giving him the best possible service as well. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm using that uh, the corners of the blade. And then after we do that, we will, we will get to the one guard lever close and create another panel of hair to fade into after we do our details. So once we uh, get that panel of hair created with the one guard, we will drop back down to a half guard, close the lever all the way, fade up, open the lever slightly, fade up, open the lever slightly, fade up until we get this area completely knocked out. Now with my specific client here, there are a lot of areas that grow a little bit darker than most areas. So it's just something that I had to pay attention to and make sure that we detail this haircut to the best of our ability. Um, another thing that uh, you will endure when you are a barber is just, you know, trying to uh, navigate hairlines that are overgrown on one side than the other. You have to, you know, conduct professional pushbacks. You have to uh, pay attention to, you know, the... Uh, 
just little details that could either make or break a haircut those little details will separate you from the barber next to you the barber down the street the barber on the other side of town you know the barber that the client is in the chair is complaining about at that moment you know those little things will separate you from other barbers so once i get done with all this clipper work there is going to be some fallacies some things that i see in the blend that i'm not liking that are not blending the way i want it to blend so at that moment i will use some shear over comb techniques and we'll get to that right after this lever play with the one guard now since i said we did the one guard lever open all the way around the head that was how we debulked this haircut at the very beginning that is what we're going to fade into with that one guard so um this is just a you know uh lever open i'm sorry no guard half guard one guard one and a half guard so essentially three guards to get this haircut done and uh it, it's coming out nice and blurry i love the gradient see that is coming with his hair texture but after this we're going to do that shear over comb i am going to use the thinning shears first shear over comb and then i will use the cutting shears because it wasn't blending the way i wanted it to blend with just the thinning shears alone now the little details like using shear over comb that is something i adapted and added to uh, my arsenal by watching other barbers in the shop you know i seen one barber uh, he he was working with us for about two years he has his own shop now but i seen him detailing shear over comb and i seen how blurry he would get things and we'll, we'll get haircuts uh, by doing that technique and it, it was a lot different than what i was used to seeing so i you know i would watch him to see how he did it and i, I just adapted it and added it to how i attack different haircuts so i was able to just pick that up pick up knowledge just by watching somebody else you know a lot of times we think that we you know our haircuts are good enough or you know we think that we reach the peak of what our haircuts could possibly be so we try not to you know learn anything else we try not to add anything else to what we're doing because we think that we perfected it that much but i guarantee that if you really sit back and look at your haircuts as opposed to you know maybe a veteran or you know a lot of these newer kids that are coming out of barber school are, are flawless they're cold with the clippers so you got to make sure that you are constantly trying to learn because there is always going to be a better barber than you there's always going to be someone who could be a uh you know blend out things a lot nicer than you can but you can get to that level too just by having the attitude that you will always want to learn if you always if you close yourself off to learning if you close yourself off to trying to gain more knowledge you're only putting a ceiling on your growth you're putting a ceiling on what you could possibly do in life or behind the chair and you don't want a low ceiling you want to have the highest possible ceiling you possibly can because you want to constantly get better and i guarantee that no one in this world is going to be perfect behind the chair nobody in this world will ever be uh the, like done with growing done with learning so that is just you know my input on that but right here we're doing the edge up using the tpob troll gunmetal gray edition uh this has the psycho blade and it's slicing nice and sharp as you can see in the video it gets very 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 sharp lines it's very precise and we're edging up around the ear here and then we do, we will do the back portion of the beard and um another thing with the with the clients is you know if you have a suggestion make sure you tell your your client about the suggestion so for me my client didn't grow a beard for a long time but i seen how much his beard was growing and i told him look bro if you just don't touch your facial hair for a good bit of time let it grow in we could actually do something with it and he listened to me and now my boy is rocking like a full beard now so you know just don't be too afraid or scared to give your input to your clients uh, you know and uh my client loves that the beard look that he has now and it's working out great for him and it's growing in a, a good bit so right now we're attacking the front edge up after we do the front edge up on this side we will do the front edge up on the other side then we will do the razor work after that but we have the cycle blade on there like i said easily hands down the best blade in the market right now uh, no cap on my wrap that is something i could stand behind it can cut through every hair texture it could cut uh you know nice sharp lines it could de bulk and right here it's not pulling on on the neckline it's not pulling underneath on my client it it's just an all-around workhorse you could buy the blade separately or you could buy it with a troll trimmer or the x trimmer on amazon.com but now we're doing the razor work we got the raw and uncut razor holder with the raw and uncut razor blade inside that and we're just getting everything nice and crispy nice and sharp for my client um, but this haircut is coming out nice and blurry it's coming out you know the way i wanted it to come out we have the beard work that we're about to do right after this right here um you can see you know i'm just taking my time you want to make sure that you're uh ex extending and spreading the skin uh the opposite direction of which you're traveling the blade 
so you can see here i'm pulling the, the skin away from where the blade is going that's going to create more tension and create a a better closer shave a smoother shave for your client you're not going to be pulling on hairs you're not going to be tugging with that blade it's going to be a nice and smooth process for your client by spreading that skin and it just it's just more comfortable for your client you know when, when you're using a razor blade because a lot of times people can get irritated by razors so that is something that you want to make sure that you are doing is uh, just trying to create the best possible experience for your client but after that we're all done with the cut i hope you guys learned something from this video if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button turn your post notifications there is the high taper on the sides taper on the back nice and crispy edge up make sure you go check out all the t-pop tools at thepissedoffbarber.com and on amazon.com use code jblends to save yourself 15 percent off at thepissedoffbarber and until next time god bless